Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Warrior. We are about to storm the Mech Soldier base. To the east? To the west. To the west. Sorry, sorry. So, do you think we're prepared? I should have um, checked our MP and stuff. Oh, we'll see now. Eh. Seems shoot. It's okay. Well, okay. we'll go a run through and then we might have to. Yeah. De Leon back out. Yeah, like it's, uh, yeah. Traditional Dragon Warrior, uh, dungeons, you know? Mm -hmm. Can you hit the volume down, like, one for us? Can and will do. Thank you. I just thought it might be a little loud for the poor mics. For the poor mics. Do you even think about these poor mics? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Think about how hard it would be for the poor Mike if you didn't brush your teeth. Hey, you stop. Stop right there, quick. Come over here. Uh huh. The, Maybe we've we seen the scene before. Um. What, are you crazy? What if they saw you? Okay. Yeah, we've seen this before. We have seen this before. Uh, I thought um, this is where what's his face was coming with um, uh -oh. Zaybot and. Um, Did we not save it last week? Oh my god, that would be embarrassing. <sighs> oh, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> and that was the final, <laughs> the finale of Dragon Warrior Seven. Well, it looks like no one noticed you. Huh? Who the heck are you? Are you some kind of mercenary? Yes. Well, listen up, this mech soldier hideout. You want to survive it all, just right there. So please, leave me alone and go back to Foul Rock Castle. Okay. No, we, we for sure saved it because the town is... Oh, ruins. yeah, the town is wrecked. wrecked. Uh, where... Wrecked them. Where is... Were. Captain Dickhole? Trad? Trad. I thought he said he was heading here. I mean, it's been a week for us. And uh, for people at home, too. It's been a weekend. Uh, eh. Dread. That's not him. Carrie, I'm counting on you. The battle will be won any moment. No thanks to you, Hanes. Hanes. Hey, I make the best underwear. Here's Trad. Uh, is that Trad? Yes. Yeah, that's Trad. You look ready for departure, Carrie, but you can wait for a. Can you wait for a moment? Zabot is adjusting his mech soldier right now. At any rate, how are they powered? Some device that powers them forever? If I can dissect and understand this machine, my dream will be realized. Eternal life. That's good enough, Airy. Trad, we're done with the adjustments. Ooh, it's go time. I am Airy. Please to meet you. Beep boop. Gary, I've heard that name somewhere before. Do you remember Gary? I do. It was the name of uh, that guy's... Uh... Does Sabot's final plan have something to do with Harry? No, it can't be. I'm Gabo. Nice to meet you too. Wow. Uh, 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 we've met you, Gabo. Gabo has the memory of a dog. <laughs> er what? Food? Harry. <laughs> Just as I suspected, he is unable to let go of the past and accept Ares death. It looks like we're ready to depart. This is going to be the final battle. Zabot, I'm borrowing your mech soldier, all right? I'm going too. I can't leave Ares alone. Uh, it wouldn't be alone. It would be with us, are you stupid? <laughs> Do what you like, but I can't guarantee your safety. A life. <laughs> I just guessed. How many lives do you actually manage to save? I wonder. Hmm. Should I make uh, any equipment at the this forge, <laughs> <laughs> or what is it called? <laughs> Anvil. Anvil. Oh, Ooh. what's on the, the bookshelves there? Anvil, best town. 
mechanical structure application, mechanical structure defined as a system that can function independently with the human moment. No matter too much research, Gary built some death. Thank you, Boomhauer. How we were going to achieve the map final goal. What character can have that voice? <laughs> oh, wow. Everyone's put it come out. Confirm memory. Beep boop. I need to learn more about the skill that enables someone to create mech soldiers. I believe their leader holds that power. It's sad to think that this might be our last battle. Do you want to say anything, Carrie? Do we ever? I mean, have you thought about my feelings at all, <laughs> Carrie? You small boy in a green hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you want from us? We'll predict the castle. Just come back with their leader's head. I Z peed on a wall. <laughs> yeah, but so this is a mech soldier that Zabot made. Doesn't look much different than the enemy mech soldiers. Yeah, that's the point. I wonder what the enemy commander is. Maybe some kind of mechanical monster? Or perhaps a mechanical engineer like Zebot. Oh, twist ending. Zebot is the. Ooh. Ooh. Brave ones, who will soon march fearlessly to your own incredible, pa incredibly painful death? Please permit me the honor uh, to honor you in song. Oh, courageous one, going into battle, your name is Carrie. The very name, like the wounds of your corpse. What? <laughs> wow, that's a... <laughs> Forever will be carved into our hearts. It's a real um, bird cough. Yeah. <laughs> Me bird cough. <laughs> Carrie, I'm counting on you. The battle will be... Bad. Okay, I guess we just leave now. Let's talk one more time. Okay, okay. All right, Falrish. 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 Falrish shall fall. Uh, Captain, we're waiting for your good news. Good luck to you. Give it your best. Come back alive, all right? Can we talk? Nope. nope. Uh, of course not. Ooh. Uh, he's probably in where he found him originally, right? Maybe. Maybe they don't even want us to meet here. <laughs> Who knows? They did say fall rush, right? Yeah. Oh. oh, here we go. Right. We will await your return to town. Right. I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. May you be victorious in battle. Carrie, it's time to depart. We must launch an assault on the enemy stronghold with Zabot's help. Um, I mean, have we talked at all about um, Zabot and uh, Trad's backstory, like or implied? Uh, it's not even implied. It's like if you go and read the book at Zabot's house, there's like the diary entry talking about his brother Trad. So they're brothers. Yes. Um, but like they're brother. they're falling out, <laughs> yeah, brother. Uh, they're falling out. Was over Airy? Uh, yeah, who died in a hunting accident, foraging accident, <laughs> a gathering accident, actually. Uh, so now do we just leave? I guess. It's kind of weird that they make you stop by, <laughs> maybe just to like, hey, rest up, kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of resting up, how is our HP? H. H HP. HP for our UK listeners. Uh, seems fine. I actually don't know if we have any UK listeners. <laughs> um, what? God, God, damn, damn it! Stop! Could make you watch this cutscene again. Ugh. Quick, let's step in the trees. This seems unnecessary. <laughs> Listen to me mashing the controller, everybody. Oh, this is different. Oh. Damn it, the hideout's right here. But we can't make any move at all. This keeps up this many weapons on out. Shimmy. Oh, 
You're already here, Carrie. I would have expected nothing less. Captain behind you, mech soldier. Don't be afraid. This mech soldier is on our side. Thanks to Zebot's help, we now have the means to bring about victory. We are one step closer to victory, then. That's what I said. Huh. Okay, Carrie, it's time to storm the enemy stronghold. Ready? Yes. Good. First, we need to throw the enemy's mech soldiers into confusion. Once the mech soldiers are taken out, you can invade the base and dispose of the leader. Say goodbye to your loved ones. You may not see <laughs> them again. Dude. I love a good... This is like total sweet code vibes, isn't it? <laughs> mwah, 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 <laughs> mwah. I guess I'll go down and die. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch. <laughs> Trad's kissing that mech soldier. <laughs> it won't be long now, Carrie. Let's stay focused. Let's go, Carrie. Let's uh, defeat the leader and go home. Okay. Um, uh, it looks like the enemy doesn't know about Ares' presence here yet. I don't know how far the signal is getting into the base, though. Beep boop. Transmitting interference output 100%. Boop boop. Turn it up to 110%, damn it! What are you doing, Carrie? Get into the stronghold now. Uh, I was just trying to see your little PDA display over there. <laughs> Public display of affection display. <laughs> uh, Ooh, and a dungeon. I think it's the first time we've seen these assets. Yeah. Yeah, steampunk va uh, base. Steampunk face? Also cool. This is going to be a tough dungeon. Tough dungeon. Thanks. Um, so, what? So, Ari was their girlfriend? Uh, I think it was um, Zebot's girlfriend. Brother husband situation. <laughs> uh, Zebot's girlfriend who went hunting with Trad and oh. she died in a hunting accident is what I gather. They found her with a knife in her back, did they? Yeah. Scary. Maybe was she killed by robots? Killed by robots. I am <laughs> by robot. that Zobot is a Zebot made. Yeah. What have I created? That's like a super villain backstory. Yeah. He's. Zebo is kind of like Dr. Horrible. Ooh, that's a good show. Yeah, it is. Okay. I cannot get over there. Get over there, brother. Ooh. Elevators. Do you wish that you had an Australian accent? Crikey. I guess you do. <laughs> <laughs> Wallaby. <laughs> Dingo. Sugar glider. Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> no, that's a New Zealand accent. What's the difference? <laughs> Uh, Australians are way worse than New Zealanders, according to the Fly the Concords. Yeah. And truthfully, I, I really like that show, so I must agree that New Zealanders are better. Um, New Zealand rocks. <laughs> nice, Gabo. Gabo got a little smarter. He learned rip. Let her rip. Rip and tear. You know what I was thinking when I said let her rip, though? What's that? Uh, uh, riding. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, from that, uh, trailer for, um, Metal Gear Revengeance. Yeah. <laughs> that's a dumb... Yeah, it's... That's fucking dumb. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but that's dumb. And not dumb in the way that Metal Gear is dumb. Yeah, Metal Just Gear dumb, is it like a, a charming dumb. Uh, Revengeance is in like a 
like Limp Bizkit dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ghost Adventurers dumb. Uh, yeah. You know what? Do you think Ghost Adventures has ever considered having Raiden as a guest star? Like Metal Gear Revengeance Raiden. Okay, like if Scooby Douche and Fred Durst had a baby, it would be Metal Gear Revengeance. Uh huh. It's 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 not something I ever want to play. I played the demo. Like mechanically, sure you can like it, but man, that story. I'm offended by Metal Gear uh, Revengeance. Uh, where it fits into the timeline, it like negates the ending of four. It adds a bunch of stupid stuff. Oh, rut row, rut row, rut row, Reggie. This this might be bad. No, we we haven't died yet. Sound like Miss Swan. <laughs> Is that um, from Mad TV? <laughs> yeah, played by uh, uh, ooh 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 Lo Lois. Bornstein? Ale right? Alex Bornstein? She plays Lois on Family Guy. Oh. I think it's Alex Bornstein. I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> like, we name drop, but not like we know these people. Oh, did you know that we follow them yeah, on it's Instagram? It's really a privilege to follow her on Instagram. I like her. She's in Mrs. Maisel. Or Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Great show. Like, you know, occasionally, um, just on social media, just, you know, like people who like are your heroes will randomly like follow you back. It doesn't happen very often at all. Who's your hero that's following you, man? Okay. It's only happened once. Oh, <laughs> on DeviantArt? Yeah. Soraya Saga or Ka Kaori Tanaka, the co-creator of Final Fantasy VI and Xenogears and, uh. A bunch of other things. Yeah, she follows me on uh, DeviantArt. Well, uh, you know who follows our Twitter? Itsuno. Uh, <laughs> really? Itsun, yeah. Itsuno follows Kira Joy on Twitter. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, from uh, Capcom. Yeah. The director of Devil May... Or, uh, well, yeah, uh, Devil May Cries 2, 3, 4, and 5. And, and Dragon's Dragon Dogma. Dogma. Yeah. He, yeah. So that's another one of those. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, big carriageway fan turns out. <laughs> <laughs> it is like weird and random, <laughs> but hey, I ain't complaining. Iron Shield. Iron Shield. Let's just sell it and not even look if it's better. Okay, uh, it's better for us. Slightly. Better for slightly. Kiefer. So, us. Okay. We care more about Carrie. Carrie can heal. Yeah, Carrie's in it for the long haul. Ooh, stir seed. Spoilers. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we care about ourselves first and foremost, obviously. We can't just assume. You know that all these other characters are going to make it to the end of the game. They're going to die. Get stabbed. Uh, now this. Top 10 steampunk... Dungeons? Dungeons. Oh. Um. I don't think you could consider that... Maybe you could consider Narshi at the beginning. Like the very beginning of six to be a dungeon. Well, I mean, it's like you fight things in it. Final Fantasy six is like everything in there is steampunk. I guess there are there are actual steampunk dungeons in six. Yeah, I mean it's a steampunk game. Yeah. Yeah, six is so good. So good. If only one of the like core creators of that game followed somebody else on DeviantArt, how proud they would be every day. Mm-hmm. Wait, who created it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you have uh, uh, Yoshinori Kitase. You had um, a lot of people. Tetsuya were Nomura. On that. That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, Tetsuya Takahashi. Um, uh, Kari Tanaka. Um, 
Ooh, name dropping. You know, you know who else? I, uh, this is something cool. I am um, changing the subject slightly, but on the topic of game creators that I follow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th 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 let's. Can we coin a term for this? The reverse name dropping. <laughs> like it's you they name don't follow us. We follow them. It's like and then bragging about. It's like, <laughs> oh, did you know that we follow? Um, but uh, uh, the she was at uh, Bethesda's stage this E3. She's the co-director of. Oh yeah, yeah, that gal from Tango, uh, Tango, yeah. Tango GameWorks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Follow her on Instagram. She's cool. Oh yeah, she seemed really cool. Very bubbly, uh, personable. I think. Uh, yeah. Her game, like that, was a cool CG trailer. Have no idea what the fuck that game is. That's like my least favorite kind of game announcement. You know, it's like you show a conceptual trailer that has probably nothing to do with the game that you made uh let's uh steal some shit here and then bail i think we can take it you think so yeah we're doing all right on magic and stuff okay you're the boss i'm the hoss hey hoss ratchet top 10 hosses <laughs> ha what is a hoss i don't know i had looked it up uh at one point because you know, I'm writing the, that book. Uh, hum, uh, that's a brag right there. Open brag. Um, and I was I had like a character say Hoss. And I was like, I should make sure that this isn't offensive. Like, I don't know what that means. But I've heard it before. And then it, I think it's like a term that originated later than the period my book takes place. So I had to take it out. Oh, It was yeah. like from like the 1910s or something. But you, I don't, I don't remember what it means. I think it's just kind of like... Boss? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Tune in to Carriageway Wordplay for us trying to figure out what more words mean. And failing. Yeah. You know, having gone through two of those, I don't think we're ever going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to be given Is that car. Just, <laughs> it just seems like every month we're going to take in, like a Tabasco shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need taco. I, like, I know what a taco is. I don't know what... Yeah, could word, you define it? <laughs> like, in Japanese, it just means octopus. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I hate that sound that I just... Oh! Okay. This uh, is like uh, what I've seen in Pokemon games. Like, you have to... I think these things... Yep. <laughs> like, they have the trainer at the end, and then... <laughs> The people you gotta fight along the way. I, I've never played a Pokemon game, and I don't really desire to, but... But this is evocative of the Yep. Yeah. Or in truth, Pokemon, you could say, is more evocative of how Dragon Quest is. Actually, that's more accurate. Yeah, Satoshi Tajiri was just a big fan of Dragon Quest. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that the creator of Pokemon? Yeah. Pokemon. So did Pokemon start out as the video game, and then it did the yes. card game? It, yeah, and it, the anime. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, made by Game Freak. It's still made by Game Freak. Yes. Gobble getting in those levels. Uh, we still doing good? Uh, if so, maybe we pick this up, uh, next time. Oh, sure. Yeah. We'll fight this big baddie. Wait, Joe, what's that guy's name? Uh, it's asshole. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that means. It's asshole colon. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, have you ever read a Kurt Vonnegut book? Yeah. Uh, Yes. Uh, the the ones where he has just the pictures that he makes, it, like in between chapters. Yeah, I think he. Does, I've only read Slaughterhouse Five. Oh, okay, that's and he does it in that. I think. Yeah, I, he doesn't do it in no, every book, but he always like does the asterisks as it just means asshole. Mm -hmm. Well, then that like then it's, it's like a, a synonymous with that, right? Because remember, like a joke in Community was the flag, like the Community <laughs> College flag in the show Community was like an asterisk. Yeah. Oh. Or something. Maybe that was a reference. I don't know. Could be. 
Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody, for the boss. The boss. Big boss. Bruce Springsteen. Ooh. Top 10 bosses. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>